podcast, Nikki Wood here, coming to you guys today for a quick discussion on meditation. So meditation is a topic that I talk to people about a lot. Most of people in the spiritual community meditate anyway, mostly on a daily basis. Uh, some of us are better than others about it, but we all meditate. And this is kind of how we tap in and intuit information, how we kind of ground ourselves, how we clear energy off of us, uh, things like that. So when I'm talking to people, these are questions that come up a lot. If you don't know this about me already, I am a professional tarot card reader, so I do psychic readings for people. I'm also a healer, uh, I'm an herbalist, and I also teach spiritual metaphysical classes. So these are sort of questions that come up when I'm talking to people. They go, well, how do you do what you do? They're very impressed, like like it's some sort of like something really hard. And the thing is, it's not hard, it just takes some time and dedication and training. So if you want to learn to play the guitar, it takes a long time to kind of learn the chords. Then you have to learn all of the songs. Like, this is not something that happens overnight. But if you love it and you're interested, you put in your time and your effort doing that. It's the same thing if you want to be a nurse or a fireman. Um, You know, these jobs take training and time. And if you love it and you're interested, you put in the work. And so that's the same thing with what I do is you just have to put in the work. So how do you do that, right? That's the second question is, well, how do, how do you do that? Well, the main thing that people will tell you is they tell you to meditate. Great, simple answer, right? Wrong. Most people don't know what to do when you meditate. Like, did you sit there and go like this and go, oh, are you chanting? Does weird stuff happen? Like, what am I supposed to be doing when I'm sitting there? So what I will tell you is this. Meditating is giving your mind one task to do, right? One thing, that's it. And I think the thing about that that's the most difficult for us is because our minds are so busy these days. We're inundated with all of these, you know, tech, you know, this technology. We're all looking at our phones, we're on our computers. Our lives are very busy. We're running around chasing kids. We're, you know, thinking about what we need to be doing at work, what's going on with our house, how many errands we have to do, like what we need to plan for so-and-so's birthday party. There's all of these things, and it's become very complicated and very fast-paced. And so it's very difficult for people to kind of slow down a little bit, and, and that's what you need to do with meditation. So if you want to meditate, these are three different things that I would tell you, depending where your level is and your concentration. So the first thing you can do, if you're at like a bare minimum, I would say just close your eyes, quiet place, no distractions, and just focus on your breath. Just count. Count in and out. Count one breath in and two on the out. One breath in and two on the out. That's very simple. It's not hard. Even if you're doing this for five minutes and you can do that, you're meditating, you're good. You can move forward from there. But just if you're on the, the worst case scenario, that's where you start. Another thing that I really like to do is guided meditations because sometimes I'm busy too and my mind is wandering and I'm distracted and I have all these things going on. So if I need the meditation and I can't get my mind to where it needs to be, I'll do a guided meditation. There's all sorts of these all over the place. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, some of them are in the middle. Pick something that you like that really works for you. This is something I'm working on producing too, so eventually I will have something to offer you guys for that. Uh, But in the meantime, you know, it's everywhere. Just find something that works for you. The third thing that you can do, and this is if you're feeling more advanced and maybe you're very imaginative and you can you can visualize things really well, what I would do is I would sit and I would be in a quiet place and from your mind's eye, kind of like right here out from your third eye, picture a really big kind of movie screen or drive-in theater screen and picture it white and then just kind of breathe and calmly see what sort of images pop up? Are you getting colors? Are you getting pictures of things? Are you getting scenes of something? And then make notes afterwards and go through those and see what you picked up and what those things actually mean to you. How does this color make you feel? What do you think of when you see you know, this particular image? And that's kind of how you can start. So those are three different ways you can learn how to meditate and kind of hone your skills. So let's talk for a minute about the problems that come up when people are meditating. Okay, the first thing is, like I was saying before, our minds wander quite a bit. I know my, my mind wanders too, uh, we all do it. So don't be hard on yourself, first of all, that's the first thing. The second thing is, is to how do you stop your mind from wandering? For me, the simplest way to do it is I yell stop really loud in my head. If you wanna yell it really loud out loud and that helps you too, that's totally fine. But you just yell stop so that your, your thoughts stop wandering and you can refocus back in on the one thing that you need to be concentrating on, right? So. The other thing too is don't be hard on yourself when this happens because sometimes people get really you know frustrated and they're oh i suck at this i'm terrible it's like it just it takes practice just you know breathe it in and breathe out all those things through you and then start over again okay so the other thing too okay some people try to meditate and they're like oh i'm just having such a hard time i can't figure it out why is this happening okay sometimes this happens because you're trying too hard right 
So if you're trying too hard to do something, it's just not going to happen. So if you're so focused on meditating, I've got to get through, it's not probably not going to work out if you're having too many, if you're putting too much pressure on yourself. Just relax, take a deep breath, and see what comes. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work the first time or the second time, but keep at it. Usually by the third time, you can always get something, right? Okay, so what's the other problem that people have when they're meditating? Well, this is something that I find is a lot of times we're not comfortable sitting with ourselves, right? And when you're meditating, you're going to be in a place where some things are going to kind of open up for you. You're going to be able to see a lot of different things. Uh, and usually a lot of things about yourself internally, because it will bring it up in order to force you to deal with it and to look at it. And sometimes people don't always like what they see. They're kind of uncomfortable with it. And you have to be sitting there and be willing to do some self-work and take a good look at what actually is coming up for you, because it does tend to bring up issues. And a lot of times people are uncomfortable with that. So I think you have to find that space within you that's, that's brave and courageous and that is willing to make yourself better and to work on those things that kind of are holding you back right? And that can sometimes kind of be a little bit scary. But in the long run, it actually is really good. You just have to be willing to let go and to sit with yourself and be comfortable with being a little bit uncomfortable. So those are some techniques that I hope that you guys use. And if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, ask me in the comment section below. I want to make sure you guys are really comfortable. And if there's anything that you want to ask, please ask. I feel like sometimes people don't get everything answered properly. And so sometimes they quit or they give up. And I really wanna empower you and help you to develop a practice that really works for you on your path. So please feel free to ask me anything. Uh, I would love to help if I can. So I hope you've enjoyed our talk today. It's been fun for me and I will see you guys next time. Until then, I hope you have a beautiful day.